Testing one, two, testing one, two. It is hot in here. Somebody's eyeballs. How's it going, Melissa? Good. God, it's not Monday no more. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Monday. It's definitely not Monday, but it feels like a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much snow did you get? Um, are we getting, you mean? Oh, yeah, I know. It's still, it's only light now, so. Um, we got about, we got about three, maybe. It was yeah. blowing, so it's hard to tell. Yeah, my, my Florida car doesn't like Chicago snow. Oh, <laughs> it blow. Well, no, you I shouldn't did... be driving anyway. Yeah, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm one of well, those. You don't drive in Chicago. You take... <laughs> yeah, well, 
I need an SUV here. I don't need a little little sedan. So mm-hmm. some snow tires too. <laughs> but it's good. Yeah. We got um, maybe four inches. That's it. So notice I'm not Florida today. I'm all floating Chicago skyline. Oh is, no, you've got a you've got a. Oh, that's. And a fireplace. Where's the fireplace? Oh, okay. Fireplace. Well, it's so small. It looks like you're in a room. It's, <laughs> it's a virtual office. <laughs> well, it looks nice. Yeah, I hope we're not recording yet, are we? <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Hello guys, how are you? Hey guys. Everybody's excited today? Far so good. <laughs> this is my first meeting. Oh, welcome. Thank you. You're a bunch of crazy people. Oh, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome, Holly. Thank you. I gotta get myself one of those virtual backgrounds. Those are pretty cool. They're in your. Can you hear me? Yeah. Right. They're in your settings on Zoom. Are they? Oh, okay. Yeah, there were a couple in there for me, and then I got creative. Oh, good. <laughs> It'll be beat this background I got right now. So. <laughs> hey, I, yeah. I got a blank wall behind me. <laughs> oh wow. That is a nice background. I like that. Yeah. So you had snow. Y'all had snow, huh? Yeah. Somebody, or where, where are you at? I'm in Chicago. Right? Chicago. My uh, stepbrother, he lived in Chicago and uh, for years. And then uh, he was like, this guy was like awesome. He could have been on a, a night, night show, uh, night late night host show, you know. And because he's so well liked and everything like that before he passed away. But uh, he was all, all likable in the bowling. He lived in Chicago. And... When he got cancer to the point where he knew he couldn't bowl anymore, he got his bowling ball and he rolled it down Cicero Avenue. Oh, jeez. <laughs> on a Sunday, you know, where there's no cars around, but, you know, that was Fred, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah, a bowling, can you imagine just a bowling ball going down the street, you know? And I'd be like, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I enjoy Chicago. I, it's been a year since I've been there, but uh, what a thriving... Um, downtown area uh this was way back in gosh in 1980 and all the women were wearing dresses and everything there was pizza places everywhere this is in the fourth of july uh went and uh, we went on a river i guess boat ride or something saw the fireworks went in the uh, hancock building and uh really enjoyed chicago really did yeah i don't want to go downtown right now no thank you <laughs> I imagine. yeah yeah that that uh, area up there, I, I really kind of like it. The first time I traveled with a company I was working for, we had a, uh, a nuclear job in Ben Harbor, Michigan, and so that's why I was able to uh, visit my brother in Chicago. But uh, so. Wouldn't mind going back sometime. You know. In the summer. In the summer? Oh, yeah, in the summer, <laughs> yeah. I don't know how my brother could handle it, but, you know, I'm Mexican, but he's full-blood German. He was a stepbrother, you know. And... Uh, Every time he'd come down and visit us in San Antonio, I'm in Texas, uh, in the summertime, he would get these headaches and stuff, you know? Yeah. But uh, he was just used to the cold, frigid cold yeah. weather up there. What's going on, everyone? How are you doing? Hey. Hey, there. Hi. Good morning. Hello, hello. <laughs> Good to see you all. Okay, okay. Welcome to your Blake's Final Program Accelerator Call. This is call number 45 for me. 19 people in the room. We have Colin, Ron, 
Vicky, we have a very strange number. If you're calling in from your phone, you can change your name. That'd be cool. And I'll know who, who that is. Adrian, we just onboarded you and your team. Um, we have Andrew, Bogdan, Carlos, Dara, Darren, Dara, Ian, Jens, John, Marianne, of course. My assistant. Get your cam on. <laughs> uh, Melissa, Michaeline, and we have Nancy. Thato, Thato, how do you say your name? Oh, trying as well. Awesome. Good to see you. We have a launch in Perfectly Top on today. I see, Michaeline, you've got your laptop CEO. Awesome. I've got my laptop CEO. Anybody else has got our t-shirts yet? No, I haven't received mine yet. You haven't received yours? I see, Darren, you have yours. I know you put your hand up there. Anybody else? No? Not yet? No? Okay. Covid mail, thank you. Anyway. Hope everyone's well. Hope everyone's been working on their funnels and things. I'm not sure whereabouts each and every one of you are, but you're either starting, or you're midway, or you're going to, to an end. Either way, we're here for you. Hey, Ron, you've got yours? Uh -huh. Good, good, good. Excellent. Good to see you all. Um, 20 people in the room. So, just want to make sure that you're all being helped out uh, with, uh, with your journey. And if you have any questions, use the messenger, use the group, use all the facilities that you have, including myself. Marianne's here for you. She's going to be... Thanks, fellas. <laughs> you got any questions, use the particular feature. If it's an emoji that you want to use instead of a raise your hand feature, it should be underneath the participants panel on the right-hand side on desktop, on Windows at least. But if you're, on a, if you're on a phone or if you're on a Mac or using any other device, get acclimated with your, with your features of Zoom they don't seem to be placing the same features in the same place. So if I'm saying it, if it's underneath the participants panel, there's usually there's usually a button there that says raise your hand. So if you have any questions, I'm going to go for an hour from now. There are four minutes past the hour. If you have any questions, you can raise your hand. I have Vicky and we have, I think he's put his hand down. Maybe, maybe, not sure. Vicky, if you want to go first, go ahead. Okay. Um, okay, I have two questions. Um, so I've been wondering from the beginning. Sorry? Once, once you create, once you get, once you start getting an email list. Okay, so you have the first set of emails um, that go out through the through the automation. Um, do you specifically use your list for anything else? Because when I was going through changing the emails, and it says like you then put all of the names on a Seinfeld list if they don't purchase the the product, do you use that list for anything else? So that's my first question. And my second question is, um, when you go, so with the done for you at the end of the, at the end of the funnel, is, does it traditionally work where they would purchase the done with you and then they would see the done for you? Or is it, does it work that they would skip the done with you as in, I don't have too much time for this. I don't have enough time for this. Then they would see the done for you and then they would purchase that one. Can you just walk me through what that trajectory should tradition like should technically look like? So the path for the customer when they come through from the seven dollar blueprint all the way yeah. over to the done for you. Okay, I'll walk you through that first, and then I'll talk about the sign for list and everything else like that. So the normal path would be the seven dollar blueprint. It'll be optional if they get the one thousand followers, eight months of content, two hundred forty three viral posts. If they skip that, it won't be offered inside of the members area later. You can always change that with all the training that you have already. It shows you each and every way that it can be. It can appear. You can create your own order page, which is not in the program. I'm looking at doing that right now to maybe make an order page to a $97 product. And I just thought about it like half an hour ago, thinking about the order confirmation page that is on in the free upgrades, it's, uh, the 2.0 version. Maybe using that for offering that as a video, like introducing them, saying, "Hey, you missed out on this thing." And then getting that connected up that way. So I'm just kind of thinking about it. I'm not sure if it's going to work out, but using the order confirmation page to get them to buy the second product at a higher price, or be nice and just say go through the same funnel again, and then I'll refund you the first seven dollars. Either way, at least it's a page that's already done, already looks nice. So that's the second one, just before they're leaving the first page. So you got your blueprint, the order bump, which is 1,000 followers, and then the next page is the masterclass. And then you can have a down sell from there if they wanted to do that. I mean, whatever pricing, normally it's $99. Um, I've got it at $149 right now. So after that, there'll be a done for you of the masterclass. So in the value ladder in itself, the blueprint is the you do it yourself. 
the masterclass is done with you and the done for you is doing that masterclass for them. Hopefully that makes sense. And then anything else you want to add on top of that as well? What are the other services, coaching, whatever you want to add, Facebook ads, chatbots, or whenever, whatever other services you want. So that's, that's the process. So hopefully that makes more sense now. Now, so do, do they normally purchase the masterclass before purchasing the done for you? Or do they like, does the done for you show up regardless of whether or not they purchase the masterclass, right? Yes. Yeah. So these, everything else afterwards is optional. So they don't, so if they purchase the $7 and then they don't get the masterclass, they'll get into the members area and they'll see the banners that are there. When they click on blueprint, there'll be the, there'll be the video, there'll be the blueprint, there'll be the masterclass, there'll be the done for you and it should all be there. So they can choose whatever option it is. So the done for you page would not show up in the funnel if they don't purchase the masterclass. It will show up. Um, the done for you page is more more or less a it's just a sales page for that. So it takes them back, and then they they go through the the form process of collecting the data and everything like that. So so if they if they purchase or they don't purchase, they can still get to the done for you. Okay. So you can go as, you can do a standalone, and you can completely omit all of that. And there's two ways of going about it. You can either raise your prices and give them all the products below that, or you can just offer them the done for you and have some of the explainer video there. Can't. I prefer them to grab everything else, like in the normal manner, so they get to see everything. It's all explained. Um, but if you want to do this straight done for you, you'd have, you can either create your own script or there's already a script there already. Uh, whichever way is, is better for you. Melissa might already be, are you there yet? Have you done that part yet? Um, I put, I'm just trying to get to it on my laptop. I have the, the download your blueprint banner and then I've got the upgrade to the uh, masterclass on an, underneath that. And then I have the other done for you banner. Even though my done for you is not done yet, I have yeah. contact me directly. That's awesome. So, yeah. Already in place. So, I mean, you've already got customers already. You said two last week. I have customers, sense? but I have issues that they're not getting their emails at all. One's a Hotmail account and one's a Comcast account and they're blocked. So I'm yeah. pulling so what, my hair out. So what happened with me? And I, I mean, at the time I was kind of like, oof, like, Fairyland, just yeah, it built my funnel. I was, I was doing a really, lo- I was taking a long way around it. It's, but I had like a hotmail.com, a yahoo.co.uk, fumbling my way through. I couldn't even find any answers or anything like that. And then eventually it just actually started working because my email or my domain was weren't warmed up. I went through the hashtag and found out that information. It warmed it up. And now suddenly, without looking through and seeing in, in uh, SendGrid, it didn't, I didn't look in, I don't know where you found the information about using blockers in SendGrid. But yeah. Yeah, you find it There's a list of everybody. So I can see, like, my own email has been blocked. So I can see that it sent me my own email three or four times. And it's been blocked every time. Mm. Yeah. So what I did was I went through the hashtag emails not delivering. There's two documents, two pages. I went through that, and after that, I was I was good. The third level, after the, after the third thing to do after that would be uh, if she's here, Renee, uh, she did something extra, so she uh, increased her score. So I think she's going to jump on a call with you on that one. And uh, I'm, maybe check out. I'm here. I'm hey. just not on video. I'm listening in. Okay. Um, I'm I'm actually um, trying to move some stuff right now, but um, yes, I I'd have to jump on a one on one with you because there is between SendGrid and your domain a bunch of stuff that needs to be there for it to come through to raise the score. Um, there's also um, some records that need to be added and a key that needs to be generated. I think I've done um, all that. You're talking about the API key? And getting it verified or whatever the wording is. Mm-hmm. Right, getting it verified, but did you add all of the DNS records on your domain? Yes. Okay. And my score is 97%, so it's not making any sense on why they're being blocked. What are you using to generate your email score to test it directly from the system? Reword your question. Sorry, don't understand that one. <laughs> okay, so when you send, okay, so when you're, let's say you're in your email, let's say you're in your, your email number one, right, on... Um, on the email side of uh, ClickFunnels, okay, when you're in your email, 
-hmm. when you're it when you're creating your email okay um when you're in there and you get to like i think it is the third or something um part where you click next and next it gives you the option to oh. test your email oh yeah that email doesn't come through either even exactly. though it has a green check mark saying that everything's good okay so that's what i'm talking about doing with you because there's there's a way to um send it directly to test it from spam assassin Okay. And that is what I did to find out exactly what was going wrong with everything. And it gives you a full report of every hop along the way and what is blocking it. Okay. Yeah. We need to talk. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. When you're free. <laughs> yes. And then I'll report back need... if anybody else has this issue. Yeah. Awesome. We're going to need, we're going to need quiet, um, quiet time to do that. Sounds good. And and we'll set up a Zoom for it for you and me. Sounds great. I have a ton of hashtags, Vicky. <laughs> I have <laughs> over a hundred hashtags since being in the program, and like, yeah, I don't think you want to look at all those. Are those when you listed? when you come, huh? Are Sorry? those listed anywhere? Because or should we just ask you? Just ask specifically. Because if I just give you all of it, it won't be making sense for where you're at. Because most of the stuff you might we won't even need. Okay. Um, so don't worry about that. So appreciate you, Renee and Melissa, if you team up and then get uh, come back with whatever you find. Uh, what's the hashtag again? Well, so if I ever say, ha go search the Facebook group, hashtag whatever it will be. It will all be one word, no space. Uh, I think, what was the recent hashtag? I said, email's not delivering. That will bring up the one post. And if I share my screen whenever I've uh, got that up. Okay. Give you an example so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So I'll just share my screen right now and I'll just go through one example. So I'm in the Blake's Final Program group. So then reduce the cameras there. So here we're not using the you're not using the search feature on the top left hand side. It's a search Facebook. No, you're using this one underneath right here. This magnifying glass right here. Can everyone see that? No. Where? So underneath all the all the pictures that you see here, Blake and everybody else, so uh, circles here. You see a magnifying glass on the right hand side. You see about discussion all the way to the right. You see a magnifying glass there. That's yeah. how you search the group. Hashtag emails not delivering. Should pull up one post. That's this one. And then if you have a look at the comment underneath here, there are two pages that I refer to. And then you can go through and test it out with what ClickFunnels say to you to do. Um, and then on top of that, there's there's something you can do even more to increase your spam score. Um, and then Renee and Melissa are going to go and check that out and see what's going on over there. But I, I personally didn't do that because it all started working because I followed through on these two things. It was a little bit of a longer process, but my customers all talk to me through Messenger, so they don't, I, I all my emails come through anyway now, but like back then, I had more of a slower start than maybe you would have now. So having the customers reach out to you is very important. I would even include inside of your um, inside of your members area, like a button. It's the you know the the Facebook Messenger logo. You click on that, they go straight to Messenger. Who cares about emails? At least have, at least you've got them collected in your email list. So anyway, uh, segueing over to your next question, what would I do with it? You before you do that, actually, you just brought up a good point. Now, in the emails not delivering, when okay. I first signed up for the blueprint, I, when I purchased it through somebody else, um, I realized most of his emails never even came into my inbox. And then I just randomly checked one day and they were all in my spam. So is that is that hashtag emails not, not delivering a good way to try to avoid that from happening? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what happened was um, with one of the customers – he was get, getting robbed physically and feeling like he was getting robbed digitally in Johannesburg. Seems like a normal thing over there, mm -hmm. as he said. I got on a call. It was actually, I was doing these calls for the main group. 26 people in the room. He didn't have enough funds in his account, so on my, on my phone, Stripe would kept on saying, failed, failed, $7. And then I found him on Messenger because of his name was, his name was coming through. I found inside of Stripe that in, there's more information in Stripe. On here, it will say failed. If I go into stripe.com on my dashboard, if I go into that particular transaction, it will say uh, the reason, the actual reason, whether it's the bank has blocked it or it's because 
uh, insufficient funds. So I just screenshot it and sent it straight to him in Messenger. He said, oh, because some, some people around the world have a safe card and they have the bank card and they have to transfer money across. Um, so anyway, talked to him through, through that and uh, he was at the point where he was buying a blueprint at that very moment. Someone approached his roof. He took his laptop and went, he paid, clicked the button for the blueprint, boom, moved everything. I mean, you wouldn't do that with a laptop, right? But that's what he did. Turned everything off. And towards the end of the group coaching call, which was an hour long, I think it was like five, 10 minutes in, my, my phone was ringing from on Facebook. My iPad was ringing. I turned them off, turned them off, and, t- and I forgot about this one. And it was still ringing. I couldn't figure out why, because I'm on a Zoom call. And anyway, um, they all wanted me to answer the call. I said, no, let's, let's, let's have some privacy for this guy. And um, I'll deal with it, and I'll talk about it next week and things. So what I found out was this guy was a serial opt-in guy. He'd gone into so many like super super guys that have you know amazing marketers been opting into so many lists. I mean, your inboxes are blowing up right now, but maybe not as bad as his. So he purchased my purchased my blueprint, the email which is attached to that product from the email fulfillment that you'll see. Delivered in his inbox, but I couldn't even see it when I got him a call. So I had to prove that he purchased it. I'd seen it on Stripe. I'd seen it in my ClickFunnels account as a member and everything like that. Verified everything. I was like, why didn't he get it? Huh? Why? He had so many people emailing him at that particular moment. He had like 25, 30 emails above the one purchase inside of his inbox. So it landed in his inbox after you know, doing all those things, you know, warming up my email list and everything like that. Uh, emails not delivering was the t- those two documents right there was what allowed that to land in his inbox in a Gmail, which is really quite difficult to do because they have this promotional, they have the spam box, they have, what's the other one? Promotion and spam is maybe another one. Uh, but either way, the, the, the main inbox is the one that I want to land in. And even if it lands in the promotional one, it, or social, that's the other one. If it lands in any one of those tabs, it's easier to navigate and find. What's really difficult, and it's not intuitive for those end users at, at Gmail, on the left-hand side, if you scroll down, there's an option that says more. It might have happened with you in the Blake's Partner Program. If you click on that, you go to spam, you spam, you find the email. Uh, and that's just how, how it normally starts off. Now, I might even add a video. I was considering adding a video towards my order confirmation page and say, hey, just in case you're on Gmail, this is how you go and find it so that you won't get that because you wouldn't have to deal with that customer. Um, I think on another funnel, I did something similar, but it was more of a text document or a link to somebody else's YouTube video. Someone's already explained it anyway. But at least it navigates that. Gmail is really quite tough to get into, but once it's cracked, once you've cracked it, it'll be fine. So if... Your email is in spam. You'll have the instructions for that. If it's in one of the other boxes, you've already got the instructions for that as well. So you don't have to worry, but very good question. Very good question. And also with Melissa going through this right now, which is what I was going through back then, but I didn't have an answer or anything. I didn't do anything to do with increasing my spam score. From what I've been doing over the course of time and then going and speaking to them on Zoom and saying, hey, click on this one. It's not spam it will help you because they're identifying it and going through their inbox and saying it's not spam. So they can then whitelist you if they need to or whatever it need, they need to do. Um, but as long as it doesn't land in the spam box there afterwards, it should be fine. So any communication that you do have segueing into the, spa, uh, the Seinfeld list should all land in whichever inbox it would be, one of the three. But if it's just, you know, you're talking about Yahoo mail or any other mail, they don't have like promotion box, social box or something like that. But Gmail is the one that, they're, they're really they're kind of tough to get into once you've cracked that it should be good but sometimes I've jumped on a zoom call and found out that it's not just in spam it's, it's really random could be in spam could be in one of the other ones but at least I know how to guide them to get to the place that they need to go to um, so either way they're going to get they're going to get the, the, the ability to communicate with me plus inside of my own members area they can book a call with me too so What's the best way to get in contact with somebody? You're not going to be hiding behind the screens or anything. So, uh, all my emails go through. That's good. Which one is the which email uh, mailbox did you say, uh, Melissa? Was the one that was the problem? Children uh, are uh, Yahoo. No, not Yahoo's good. Um, what is it? Hotmail and Comcast. I've not. Heard, I've only seen Comcast being used. I, I guess that's an American one. Yeah, probably. It's yeah. Xfinity. It's our, our cable provider. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we have one Virgin Media, but we don't, I don't use that one there. But I see a few people sending out emails. And oh, then my, 
my official business domain got blocked too, which is different than my funnel. So that's weird. Yeah, so that's it's like nice. blocking everything. Are they all being managed inside of SendGrid? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they couldn't help you? Um, they said, you're going to have me tell you what they said, aren't you? <laughs> Hold on a minute. I'll get back to you on that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe next week if you want to, if you want to share that now. Um, but either way, you have you have solutions. You've got to try and try and try. This is the point. This is where people kind of fall. If they, if they fail, if they fall, it's game over for you. I'm going to be real with you. If you like to face challenges, enter the room Tuesdays, Thursdays, 4 p.m. EST. Lean on all your partners inside of the messenger group. Lean on each other inside of the main group as well, and then you get your answers. Um, and like you, like we found, we have a superpower techie, Renee, if you're still around. I know that you're moving things, so don't worry. Uh, I'm here. <laughs> I'm running down the hall. Sorry, oh. I have to do a room change. I'm traveling, so. No worries. And my okay. room is not good, so anyway. No, no um, worries. Appreciate you. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll try to find a time and uh, to schedule a Zoom with you to do those mail issues. It's all yeah. it's all about the DNS. Yeah. See, something that would cost us like a day, two days, three days to do, like something that I've gone through or Renee's gone through, she could probably do it in like minutes or something like that. So if it can shortcut your journey and everything like that, then that'd be awesome. Um, segwaying into the Seinfeld list. So the Seinfeld list is where you develop and uh, have the pot of, of people or your know, emails that you want to communicate with. Um, there's nothing in the training that tells you what to do afterwards. So it's really coming through with your own voice. So some people come in with no training. Some people come in with uh, some training with email lists and all that kind of thing. If you have a look inside of where now that you've become 30% with ClickFunnels, they have certain emails that have already been created for you. Now I wouldn't copy and paste them. I would definitely add your voice to them as well. So if you, prov if you like want to promote something else, you can, the books, .com secrets, expert secrets, traffic secrets, click funnels, whatever it is, invite them to understand like, you know, you've actually opted into this. This is this, It's all congruent. It's all going to one place. And eventually what some other, um, what some other marketers do, they actually send you back in the loop again. So they'll have maybe 20, 25, 30, 50 or whatever it is. I think uh, one of the other guys who was on the calls not long ago, I don't know if he's in the call today. Uh, no, he's not on the call today. But he was saying, like, some of these are the marketers, and I know Adrian Morrison and Anthony Morrison, they do this. They send you back in the loop again. It says, oh, it's closing down, $7. You're, you're going to miss it. And I've seen that for the last two years. So you can send them back through the loop if you have either follow-up funnels or an external third-party email provider. You can try that. Um, so, yeah, definitely start bring, having, a, having a look what you've received as well, like from Blake, social media lead machine, see what emails... His emails are still coming through to me, so have a look what he's talking about, what is relevant, like Karate Kid. Did anyone see that email with a Karate Kid? No. Uh, Cobra Kai, sorry. Netflix? No? Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, so he saw that. I introduced him to Cobra Kai, and I was like, is he saying that because of me? So I asked him, are you doing your own emails? He says, not anymore, but that is new. It was just released on the 1st of January, so that's relevant. Um, and so that, that has some nostalgia as well with it as well, which is pretty cool. And I was like, ah, oh, that got my attention. That's really cool. So um, although he didn't write it, he must have mentioned down, like jotted down for his, uh, for his copywriter to write out an email for him anyway. But it definitely sounded like it was from him. So if someone, if you can get a copywriter, if you can get someone to do emails for you and, and, and speak in the way that you speak, amazing. But firstly... Have a set of emails that you've already done yourself and then they can have a look at what you've done and they can pass it on. But yeah, that's that's what I would do. And if you wanted to promote, say, said coaching program or whatever else that's coming up next that you've developed and it's inside of your funnel, you can broadcast that to your particular buyers or you could broadcast a new thing for the people that are kind of outside, you know, utilize your list that way. So hopefully that helps with your question. Yeah. But I do not. I don't. Um, I just, I like to meet people, meet people, guide them through. They're so green behind the ears type of thing, you know, just guide them through and just take flight. That's, that's all you need. And once they start making the money, it's, it's like, oh, it's a lot easier than what I thought it was. And I'm throwing stones a lot against a lot of things right now, but you can always add all of these extra skills, emails, Yahoo, uh, YouTube and all these and TikTok, all these different things that we're not talking about here at all. Add those strategies later. But focusing on that one thing, mine is Messenger. 
Zoom calls, voice messages. Mastering your mess- message is all is what it's about. Um, and I'm I've stopped doing the voice today, and I've actually got what I say again and again and again in Notepad. And then I sent someone this essay. And I was like, huh, how can I break that down? So I broke it down, and now I have a copied and pasted script for me, my story, what I've done, where I'm at, where I'm at today. And you all can do the same things. I partnered up with the two comic club X when I was sitting at $20 million online. He's already done two, three two comic club awards or whatever else. You're all partners of, of the same program. And without really saying too much of his name or anything else like that, it causes intrigue. Like, who is this person that you partnered up with? They'll start, they'll start saying, oh, wow, that's amazing. Like, tell me more. Like, okay, well, let's jump on a Zoom call. Ain't nobody got time to chat all day, so causes intrigue um so yeah that's that's my answer to you uh the next one um hopefully that answers your question vicky uh the next one let's have a look who did i say carlos carlos your turn okay yes sir i have a question about that you know on that uh what's it called that grip call uh the one that's right below 38 where you show how to uh, i guess add the quick your domain name to the quick, quick. that's how i'm problems with that i'm used to doing another way where you got to like to in my case yeah i mean uh Go daddy hmm. and get the I don't know if it's the name server or whatever, do some things with it and then import it into click funnels and then click on the settings and then you know, you see a domain name, you click on that and you and, and it'll show up and then Yeah, you, yeah. Now yeah, but, so but I didn't see if, the uh, I had forgotten how to do it and hmm. I didn't see the instructions on that type of thing. I don't know if it's in there or not. Yeah, no, I, I did that without thinking in mind like how new somebody would be coming into the program it was already because i had my e my domain added oh. so anybody that's watching that video after group coaching course 38 ignore if you haven't got a domain that's already inside of your account a click on account already ignore that and just fast forward past that later in the blake spinal program accelerator or the elite you'll see in section seven or section eight it will say add your domain oh. you'll add the domain to click funnels then and then you can point it come back later and point it in the way that i show you inside of that video just after group coaching course 38 at least you'll have the funnel up and running. Anybody asks you, hey, how, how, what are you doing right now? You still have a, a, a URL at the top that you can point them to, even if it's nasty. You can even drop. You can even use Bitly or Rebrandly and clean it up a little bit. But for now, if you don't have a domain, don't worry about it. Uh-huh. It's just having that page ready. But if you already have the experience of being in ClickFunnels, I should have thought about that. I might put a note in there. But yeah, uh, Miriam, can we make a note of that? I just need to... Go back to uh, call 38, the one after that. It's to do with the affiliate side of things. I need to add a note. Uh-huh. Ignore when I mention domains. It'll be later on in the training. Okay, I've got one more quick question. And that is, I, I found I have a link to the, uh, I guess it would be an automated or we- a webinar for the um, Blake's, uh, it's under section two, I believe, where you apply for your affiliate link. And I was wondering, um, I know it's sent to ClickFunnels, but I was wondering if I need a webinar jam or something like that, or is it, or do I just give out that link like through an email and they're able to click on it and, and go through that webinar? You just give them the link. Um, so essentially, when you build that page, you're actually going to create a page where it's a bridge page. It's an, yeah. an affiliate bridge page. When they give the name and email, they drop in that information, and then they get sent over to that next page, which is the affiliate link, which is nice and tidy. You collect the email address. And then I show you on that video how to send them directly to another page as well. If, say, for example, someone, maybe Michael had seen your video, uh, your, they've already seen the uh, webinar, but they don't want to watch the webinar just to get to the other page, Carlos, for example. Michael could go to somebody else and say, John, John, you seem like you're an expert in this. It seems like you're answering internal questions. I want to go through your link. That's actually what happened to me. And said, but I've already seen the webinar. I don't want to watch it. Okay, cool. So I have another page for you. It will be, you just put your name and email go straight to the other page. So that's why I built that out inside of that video as well. I can check that out after group coaching call 38. Um, I don't use that anymore, but back in the day when I didn't have anything ready, um, that was what I needed, but I didn't have it ready. Someone called me on Facebook in the UK, didn't know who he was. He said, you're adding a ton of value. It sounds like everyone's talking about you. You're doing all these audits here, there and everywhere. And oh, wow. it sounds like you, I'm not even working with Blake at this moment. And um, he says, I want to go through your link. I'm like, uh, I don't even have the link available, but <laughs> let me get it for you, and uh, I'll give you uh, give me an hour or something like that. I didn't know what I was doing. Wow. 
I don't know what I was doing. So like instead of sending him to, and he said, no, I just want to buy it. I said, no, you should watch the webinar first. Know what you're actually buying first. Have you seen the webinar? He said, yeah. I said, okay, no worries. I'll get you the order, order page. So that's why you have the two links. And I'll guide you through that inside of Kartra. Yeah, so hopefully cool. that helps. But yeah. Good question. All good? All good, yes. Yes, thank you. All right, all right. So, uh, Jens, who's next, actually? Andrew, Andrew, Andrew Davis, your turn. Yeah, how you doing, Darren? Good, man, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I'm working on the order form bump page, and it's uh, uh, Blake, in his training video, goes over uh, hosting. We have to host the download pages that he sent us. And he mentions uh, Google Drive, Dropbox, Amazon Web Services. Do you, which ones do you recommend or do you recommend a, a different one? I would, um, have you received your blueprint that's from the team yet? Yes. You have. There was, an inter there was a video that came with that, how to actually upload that blueprint into Google Drive. If you follow that video, stay with that. Google Drive, forget everybody, everything else like uh, Dropbox, Amazon Web Services, just stick to the training and you'll have everything all consolidated in one place. If we ever changed anything or improved anything, you just need to go to that one place and all the videos will be congruent from there on. So you'll just add all of your products later. You're not there yet, but the masterclass is coming next. You'll have like yeah. nine, nine products to upload into Google Drive. So follow that video. You should be good. And then when you upload it. So he, he sent a video in the Blueprint download? You should have received an email plus a link in that email. So you get a, you'll get a link to the Google Drive where the Blueprint is. There should be a PowerPoint presentation or some slides in there, depending on what, what you have. I think you've got, are you on Windows or Mac? Windows. Yeah, so you would have PowerPoint, the, the original document, yeah. the PowerPoint. Everything software. I got was PowerPoint. Okay, and then you had a PDF document that was compressed, I believe. All right, I'll look for that. So, I hit the or compressed file and it opened up uh, PowerPoint. It was just another. Mm -hmm. But I'll look for the PDF. Yeah. And that, uh, that explains hosting. Yeah, that explains where to actually place that document and then link it up and then going into your members area. So you just follow through with okay, that. Okay, well, so that's good because I uh, I tried to research it on my own, but it was kind of sketchy. Also, oh, no, no. It's okay. Yeah, <laughs> everything's sketchy. Anyway, uh, I have another question real quick on uh, domain names. Go ahead. Is that a revision or can I change those at will? We have now dropped the ability or the necessity to send in your domain. We don't need it anymore. For now, we're not requested, we're not asking you to give us your domain. Um, we dropped that maybe a couple of days ago. Isn't that right, Maria? Um, so, the domain, I don't have an update about that. Okay, so with the Blake Spider program and with all the programs, we've dropped that from inside of the program because we've got so many people coming in. And when people want to change the domain, it's like we have to add it. it takes a, you know, whether 24 hours, 48 hours, to show up and well to, to be added. So we take all the list, and then eventually it gets all added. Now we're just going to leave it open. So all the videos are unlocked, I believe. Uh, so you don't need to. That's the reason why we have them, so that we can lock the videos inside of the members area. And um, anybody that tries to that tried to take those videos or anything and repurpose them. It would you they wouldn't be able to do so but either way uh we're not we're not worried we're always evolving constantly changing and with we're just not worried <laughs> there, are, there are there are already copycats out there already but they're not doing what we're doing and they're not supporting everybody like they should be and so i can so i can take the domain name that i've given my click funnels and i can swap that out with the subdomain name oh yeah absolutely yeah just make sure that you've covered it everywhere inside of the funnel wherever they mentioned you know, the, the uh, membership area or the confirmation all the footers their stuff on mobile uh, even in your email all everywhere where you actually if you've not got that far then amazing but um definitely definitely make sure you're covered in that all areas so you should be fine yeah good question do you have any other questions no that's it thank you yeah no worries uh who we have next is it jen's yet we have Ron, Jens, and Paul. Okay, we'll go in that order. Okay, go ahead. This should be barricaded where you don't even go up 
Go on, go on, go on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, on the legal page with the privacy policy terms and use and refund, because it's legal, we have to get that ourselves, right? Yeah, correct. We can't take care of each and every person in their business because they'll operate in different ways. Also, right. their business name's different. And also, um, I see a lot of people copying and pasting blokes, and it'll just say that they're in the state of Florida. Like, no, you're not in, you're not in Florida. So make sure you get your own pages and everything. And um, it only, I think you go to, I think someone sent a message. If you go to uh, the Blake's Part of Program Facebook group, you just need to hashtag legal pages and it will, will appear with the correct uh, post. So I'm just going to show you my screen right now. I'm going to show you. I'm going to go to the top. I'm going to click on that magnifying glass. Can you see just under it, invite? Yeah. You're right inside there. I'm going to mm -hmm. click on there. I'm going to click on that area there. It's legal pages. Should already populate. Yeah. There you go. Just click on that. Show us the post. And I'll just click on the post. And it will just give you some information from somebody else. Um, I kept them saying again and again and again. And he's found this $49 website policies. And then I've added my extra bit here as well. As your business grows, you may want to use something like LegalZoom, Rocket Lawyer. Right. Um, so, yeah, definitely check out. Whenever I give you a hashtag, always check out the comment that I've left below that, and that should uh, that should give you what you Okay, need. so I I have a um, term to use from other projects I've done, and I've kind of um, changed it to fit this. Um, so can I just cut and paste, or does it have to be code, or... Oh, it's just going to be like a Word document. But um, Vicky just said that she bought a legal page as 19. Do you want to share where you did that? So I I just Googled. I Googled. I found one that was a bit more expensive, and then I just looked through. And at first, I was I thought I could find it for free, but then I thought, oh, it's fine. If I can just pay $19 and get this done right now. So I paid $19. They sent me the legal page, and that was done. And then I just yeah. copied and pasted it. Yeah. 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 Okay, so when you, when you copy and paste it, at the bottom where it says need help, members log in, privacy, it should automatically make those active buttons then, right? Oh, no, no, no. That's something that you'll see at the bottom of number seven or number eight where it says wire up your funnel. It'll talk about the footer and everything in that section there. In what section? Um, I think it's wire up your funnel at the bottom of number oh. seven or number eight. Okay. Yeah. I'll just have a look real quick and just show you. So everybody sees it. I'm not used to this old menu, this new menu system on the left hand side. I know side. it. So I wrote myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's not this one. It's number eight then. Okay. So you see, wire up your funnel number eight. Oh, it's yeah. It's in there. It talks about it in there. So you have to replicate that through each and every page. Once you've done it once, it'll show you how to save out a section. And then you can do that for desktop or every single page. And then you'll have to go and do it for mobile as well. So at least you set it once with all the links your email and everything once, and then you just go to each and every page and just uh, bring back that template that you saved. It will, it will take care of you through that video there. Okay. Um, yeah, no, great question. So, uh, Vicky, if you ever want to actually just drop that information inside of that hashtag as well, just go to hashtag legal pages, uh, drop the link of where you found that $19 and any other information that you want to, just build upon that particular one post. That'd be awesome. So I can just say, go to, go there. It's 19 rather than 40, 49. Um, you can find them for free. Some people have said they're not very good. Um, same with the refund policy. I mean, go to socialmedialegalmachine.com if you want to go and check it out. Check out how he's done his legal uh, and have an example and see what the refund is. I mean, you've got the same product, so it's essentially right. copy and paste if you wanted to, but make sure it doesn't say Blake's partner program or right. the link going to yeah. support.blakenewbar.com forward slash help. Yeah. It'll be your email or your messenger or right. however way you've got your support. Um, but yeah, that, what we're trying to do is what we were cracking down on is people like send it, saying that they were this business and they're not essentially they're, they're a franchise but um we started seeing a lot of that happening and uh people were contacting blake and they were saying hey uh, i can't get access into my they're not blake's customers they're their customer so we didn't have them in our in our accounts or anything like that i think marianne was receiving a couple of emails like that or something right yeah so, um, yeah, it would be really strange if my affiliate leasing machine customers were going to Blake and Blake or, or the team, the support team would turn around and say, you're not our customer. So uh, make sure that they're fully catered for inside of your members area, inside of your footers, everywhere. Even if it's in an email, make sure that they have a place that they can contact you. Even if it's a Hotmail or Gmail, it will look unprofessional, but 
you, they still are able to contact you. But having your e a professional email box would be the best way to go forward. Great question. Do you have any more questions, Ron? No. Okay, okay. All right, so let's see the list. Gents. Gents. Go ahead. Yeah, um, I have a question in order to uh, apply for the funnel. As I understood, uh, the uh, name, the brand name, and the logo, they are fixed, yeah? Uh, but the question is, uh, can I um, change the name of the Facebook uh, group of the site uh, later on by myself? Uh, the Facebook group? Yeah. Yeah, you can, yeah. So... so they, they, Facebook would be, I think they normally say, if you change the page name or the group name, they normally have like, I can't remember how long it takes, if you change it like today, and then you change it seconds later again, uh, which I've tried to do, it says, oh, you have to wait like a week or two weeks, I don't know, I can't remember, because that information goes out to all of the people that's in the group already, or the page already, it says this page, you'll see it in some notification, this page has now changed the name. When you click on it, it doesn't go anywhere. Um, it just tells you. Um, but yeah, definitely make sure that you're certain of that name and when you can change that page or your group name or whatever it is, uh, just make sure you're certain of that. Um, and description or something else, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we all manage inside of Facebook. If you just go to uh, Google and just search that, and they all, there'll be a help document to show you exactly because they're changing their look right now and they, they've got the old document and the new document in place, so they cater for both of those. So yeah, they keep moving things every five minutes and things will work things won't work and it's just horrible but well, this is facebook this is platform so we'll always change sync we'll do the same facebook ads will do the same so we're just getting the grips of things but yeah definitely you can change your name do you have any other questions um yes why well, can, uh, can i find the records from these calls here yeah? uh they'll be inside of your training area if you go into the group coaching calls i'll just show you so all of them are on the left hand side over here so it will be right at the bottom. You see group coaching calls. See Blake's vault group coaching calls. Click on that one, and all of my calls will be here. Okay. Okay. So they're all here. So we've got all the history here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. You're welcome. Any other questions? No, thanks. Okay, okay. Paul. Take to the stage. It's your turn. Where are you? Has he walked away? No, he's there. Sorry. I was trying to figure out something. Hello, everybody. Hello. Okay. Hey, uh, two questions I have for you. I'm about to launch. How do I launch without code, without using Koya? Number one. Without using what, sir? Koya. What's that? There's a Koya as a plat platform you can use and launch the ad on the Facebook. Koya. Yeah. Z I don't it's expensive. Know oh. oh. You don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, why, that's why I don't know, because it's expensive. Like, yeah, it is expensive. <laughs> okay, right. So, so it's a platform that you need to use. Okay, right, all right. Yeah. So how do I launch if I... Okay, how, Okay, let's, let's reverse this. How do I launch? I'm ready to launch. Okay. So when you're in 11 launch, you're going through the progress of actually starting to make it more visual to everybody. Your funnel has always been live throughout the whole journey. It's just that nobody knows it's there. As soon as you change out your page, people on your personal profile will start changing, uh, seeing it. Same with the group, same with the page, wherever anyone's like looking. Now, if you haven't been posting or anything like normally, family, recent events or whatever, the algorithms are not going to be in your favor. Now, if you're going to do things organically, you can use the posting strategy and start creating that, creating that organic engagement. Get a tennis match of a conversation going like, hey, it's been a long time or something like that. You know, just whatever it is, even if it's a kind of friendly chat rather than marketing, it's not all about marketing. It's about actually engaging with people and bringing things real. And when you when you start driving more traffic to your personal profile or page or group or whatever it is, um, you'll start to see the tr you'll start to see the momentum start to build for that. I don't personally use it, but I will be doing it more often now. I'll have more free time to to start constructing some uh, some of these posts and what I'm doing during the day. Like, I mean, <laughs> two days ago, you know, when you got your computer desk right here, you know, you can just pull out the, the little table and then just. Uh, Lock it in place. Well, I had a pint of water right here. You know where this is going. Oh, no. Totally forgot. I was tired at seven o'clock in the morning and my knee just just pushed it in like that. Bang. Everywhere. 
over my microphone, laptop, through the keys, everything. It was all on the green screen as well. I was like, oh, that's embarrassing. And I walked, I stood up and my face was soaking. It was dripping. Oh, my God. <laughs> and my mom and sister were in the next room over there. <laughs> and all they saw was, like, me like that, just dripping. I could have, I, t- I could have taken a picture, but they just went straight into, you know, I, they just went into clean up mode. They helped me out. It was all over my plugs. I was like, oh my god, that was the worst thing ever. I think, crap, how am I going to get on the call next? Like, is my camera going to work? Is my is my uh, microphone going to work? <laughs> it was even my boxes full of books underneath here as well. Like, they were all like soaking. Well, so without much expression, <laughs> I just you no. Know, Carried on doing whatever I needed to do. They threw some towels my way and I just did whatever I needed to do. They cleaned up the glass, which is nice. And there wasn't like a song and dance about it, which is good. But if I was to share that and did it on a video and say what actually happened, like right now, if I watch this on a replay and see whatever everyone's reactions were, I mean, maybe I'll get some engagement or people just laughing at it and stuff like that. So I, it's nothing to do with marketing in general, but like they can, people have, gone through my personal profile and just looked at it and not even engaged and then the next minute they purchased or next minute they message me or whatever it is but they'll start having a look about what you're really all about so launching without any ads proof of concept first if you go through uh, Blake's call number three or four he mentions about that and, and then once, three or four. Once, yeah definitely go through his calls every single one of them so one to six he's teaching on a PowerPoint slide presentation and some of them or just taking on questions so definitely check your take on that. Um, and then you'll see that there's importance of why he did that. Even Blake during his webinar, he said like, we didn't have any money. We didn't know what to do. So we just tried to do things on the, uh, tried to do things um, organically free. So, and when I audited 40 funnels back in the day when I was still a customer and actually just helping out instead of the group, that was the turning point for me when I actually realized that everybody else breaks their funnel in their own, own way, even I did. Mm. I was four or five months into the program, couldn't figure out how to do $197. Now, those people that went to ads, there was four people out of the 40, I told them before I even looked at their funnel, I said, look, how much are you making from those ads? $7 every couple of days? How much are you spending per day? 50 Does it make sense to run the ad? Okay, shut it down. Mm-hmm. Just that's it. Just shut it down now. No. And they're like, no, 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 I'm really good with ads. I was like, you might be. No. It's working. No, but with, the ads, that. with the ads, actually, if you want to do the Facebook ad, you, you should be spending dollar and you should be getting fourteen dollar back. Um, yeah, that's prove, how I look at it because. But it's prove that the it. funnel works organically first. Yeah. yeah. Then start adding fuel to the fire. It's not to gain momentum as quickly as possible. It's to make sure that your funnel works. Now, uh, back back then, we also had uh, Blake offer. For, well, it was his ads guy. He said, I can do this for 20 people, of which I raised my hand and I was the third person to take this on. It's not on offer, but um, ads guys are just ads guys. They're not going to do the copy. They're not going to do the image, the video or anything for you. They're not going to come up with the script. And that's what I thought I was going to get. But when I realized what they do is that they just maintain and want monitor and shut down whichever one, they monitor which one's good. And then they, they'll, they'll start to have a look at the pixel and re and redo it. They re uh, retarget using that using that pixel. Now I'm in the know of it, but I don't do it. So I'm happy to leave a team to go and do that who is professional. But then I have to go and figure out what ad, what copy, what what image, video, and test out like Blake. If you go to his personal, if you go to his page and go to page transparency, click on that and get to see what ads have been run between a certain period of time. If you don't have to do that, I can show you. But you can see what ads are being run right now, and you go to anybody else's page and see who's who's running ads: Anthony Morrison, Adrian Morrison, Ty Lopez, whoever else, and kind of pro, uh, ad advertisement hack them. See what's working for them. Um, what they'll normally do is they'll just post things out publicly and maybe add fuel to the fire to, when they know that it's working organically. So some people do it in that strategy. Some people say five dollars a day. Blake says five hundred a thousand in a month. But only thing is, difference will be the Darren. They have a lot of followers. Like if you look at Ari and all these guys, they have a ton of followers. They're looking for new followers too. So exactly. for other, other people who are already following, like I don't know, Bob Proctor, for example. And so there will be people that have been targeted in that particular list from somewhere else. So okay. So is it like advisable when you are trying to launch? You should be uh, follow certain people in your niche. So this way, maybe you might get some follow. 
I would do so. I would go, I mean, that's why we go and do, not only just go into the groups, but also go and, you can always have, connecting with people doesn't really cost anything. It just costs your time. So when you connect yeah. with them and see what they're following, what they're doing, like, oh, is that what they, is that what that program's really all about? How about if I told you that I have a faster solution and if you do this in seven days, I'll coach you type of thing. Now I can see that there are other people in other programs that are like six weeks, eight weeks, mm-hmm. six months long, and they're really huge and they haven't even received any results from that. So if you start throwing stones against that kind of audience too as well, imagine if you start doing ads for that, say, hey, you don't even have to follow a top guru. I've already figured it out. Something like, I don't know, whatever your messaging would be, you could be polarizing. So you don't have to be at the top. Like some people I've spoken to, they don't even know who Blake Newbar is. So those people who know Bob Proctor, Ty Lopez, Tony Robbins, Dean Graziosi, yeah, of course, like they'll know those people. Bob Proctor being one of the ones who's been translated in many different languages and it's on Netflix now. So I met, I saw him well, probably way before 2010 when someone introduced me to the book, but going back to the ads, going back to like how much to spend and all that kind of thing, everyone has their own different strategies. Go with what you're comfortable with. Um, how much are you willing to spend uh, is what I normally say is how much are you willing to lose to find out what is that right audience so when you find that out, that's when your ads team will then refine it or you refine it if you already know how to do that. Um, that's why we pay, uh, pay that premium for someone to go and look after it. It's like the pilot who monitors the flight. You've got the captain and then you've got the pilot monitoring. One is flying it. The other one is like taking notes, fuel bird and all that kind of thing. Like what is actually happening with this ad? Okay, that ad is crap. Ditch it. They get so many like clicks on it and then, okay, yeah, I'm going to have to spend some ads, uh, so spend some data on that and then you can actually take that pixel and re- re-energize it and use it somewhere else so that's what that's my knowledge of ads and how it works i don't i was restricted i'm still i don't know if i've been unrestricted yet but um, i had to uh, give my id and I, I haven't even looked at the ad account but anyway like that's that's what i understand from ads but um yeah do you have any have i hopefully answered your question if not yes yeah you did uh, the okay. second question i have uh remember how you how i go into your uh page what it does here, if I go to your page, where is it? Oh my God, what did I do with it? Yeah. Oh yeah, that website that Vicky put in was termly.io, $19. It's in the chat if you want to check that out. Save it somewhere, bookmark it or whatever you need to do. Um, lead machine. Yeah, affiliate leads machine.com. Affiliate, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Click on our... What page are you trying to get to? You know how when you go to your first page and then if you're trying to leave, it will ask you right away uh, oh, yeah. to get your email address. Yeah. How do I add that? I like that's really really actually neat because you know what? I, hey, I don't I don't care about if you buy or not. I want to get your data. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so have you constructed a, have you constructed the three D page that he's done in the training? So have you got your video animation? I send it yet. I haven't received back. Actually, I got the yeah. email over the weekend saying, "Hey, we, should, we are working on it. We should be getting that back to you shortly." So when you get that vi- video and you get the email, the instructions, the funnel, then that would be the best time to answer that because you'd have already constructed the page. It's now just tweaking some of the things that are already there. So all I did was just take some of the training that we've got previously. And I thought, how can I really capture the detail instead of just clicking a button and go to the two-step order form? I want to capture the name and email. Uh, so hey, I can show you how to... my funnel doesn't open. Your website doesn't open. Oh, lovely. Thank you for telling me. It's in Canada, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe in Alberta too cold here. We have uh, today is like minus 28. So <laughs> is it? Wow. Yes. Okay. Well, it, wor- it works over here. It might be to do with your provider. Yeah. So this is the page he's talking about. So I have this enticing yeah. title and um if i just reduce the percentage on here to about 67 can everyone see my screen yeah so i have that video right here and then i just click on that so the trigger on that particular button is to open the pop-up yeah this next button is to uh, i think it's i treated it like a bridge page similar to what i mentioned in uh you know the video that's after coaching call 38 I showed you how to build something similar to this, which is what happens. They click on that green button, capture the name and email, and it's all there. That's how you can find out how to do that. And this page right here, this this pop-up right here, 
is the same as philipleadmachine.com forward slash blueprint. Only that it has testimonials on there. So on here, so it stays congruent. So you can see on the first page, it says, uh, check out the results uh, from, from others inside. So I just, co I just copied exactly how I did that here. And if I exit out of here, mm -hmm. that's what it is. Check out the results, it's congruent, it makes sense. So they wanna to go to that next page and they can see the results on this page anyway, it's just further down. So that's what how I do. How do I get this? this? How do you get what, sorry? How, do I, how can I add that on my, my funnel and my- Oh, funnel. Paul, you're asking me so many questions. No, <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. So how you get this to happen for, how you get this yeah, I'm is- making you, by asking you all this question, I'm making you famous. <laughs> No, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. So you go free upgrades. So you've probably not you you're there probably at launch right now. Yeah, so you just yeah. Yeah. so then you add all these extra bonuses and free upgrades. The only two that I've added is the exit pop. That's the one that we're looking at right now, uh, and the video overlay. So if I go back, second. free upgrades. Yeah, free upgrades. I only have video player overlay. Uh, and you thank have... you, page. Okay, I don't have that many. You showed me. Why is that? One second. Let's just get this one. Oops. Let's get it to the wrong page. I typed in wrong. Let's go blue print. Okay. So the video overlay code is actually applied to the two-step order form, which is how it's trained. You can see the pulsating uh, click to turn on and this big play, white play button right here. Yeah. So when I click on that, it will start from the beginning. I don't think you can hear that sound, can you? You can't. No. No? Yeah, that's okay. But anyway, like when it starts the video from the beginning, the concept came from dot-com secrets, expert secrets, traffic secrets. So you get to see that. And also, I mean, go and check out those pages for sure. Like these are, these is where, this is where Russell Brunson's built out his pages. And as you see, the video is playing. The over, this will go full screen in a moment once it's fully built out because it's a bit of, it's a little bit slow with this. But go and check that out. Dotcom secrets, expert secrets, traffic secrets. Anyway, there you go. It's full screen now. Then you've got that big play button. We've got this in the corner. That's where it came from. So what happens is that you can see it playing. It's enticing me psychologically. I want to know what's actually going on. I want to hear it. How do I do that? Because of the browser browser issue, we need a human interaction. We need to say we need to actually physically touch on the screen, and it will go back to the beginning, which is super cool. So that's how you do that. So when you apply that, it shouldn't take too long. Just watch, pause, and do, and you shouldn't have any issues with that. If you do have any issues, I think uh, I jumped on with Spencer the other day. But I've got five minutes left, everyone. Um, so, yeah, just uh, go through that. It's in free upgrades on the left-hand side. So, so go yeah, past the launch. New background, add, video play, and new. Okay, yes, I have all of that. you got all those. Yeah, so the only two that I have in, that I'm looking at is these two. Um, I didn't put, I didn't do this last one. I'm keeping mine as the old order confirmation page. Uh, but you get to see like what he's talking about here with that particular video. If you want to use that, up to you. Um, but that's where you import that page and you can download the script for that page and everything. I, I don't have that. I don't want to use that. But yeah, great question. So um, uh, the next question, the uh, DFY. Should I, uh, should I have standalone funnel for that or can I add it to this one later on? Add a what funnel to that, sir? The DFY, done for you. Yeah, what, what about the done for you? Done for you, should I add to this funnel all those steps or should I have standalone? Do both. Do both. Yeah, so it's like this fourth step in the process. So if you go from Blueprint to 1,000 followers to Masterclass to done for you, they, they say no. Okay, no worries. They come back to it later and then you can do a standalone raise the price for that because I missed out on the first time. What should be the price? Ooh. 2500 Hey, that's too high. <laughs> <Check. laughs> uh, $1,997 is what I've seen. But if you do 2500 do 2500 Add more to it. Okay. Chatbots. Get somebody to go do chatbots for them. Pay that person 200 Okay. Raise so, what you're doing. So, be, a so, diff so, be different. For the done for you, who will be doing this uh, for me then? Who do I contact? Or so inside of the done for you plus, you have the uh, fulfillment option. Let me just share the screen. Please. And more. There we go. So I'm going to bring up the done for you. If you haven't seen done for you plus yet, it's just later on. I'm just going to show you where it is in the program. All you need to do is go to done for you, DFY plus, click on that button over there. And you just need to fill out the form underneath just so that everybody else is on the same page as well. 
Okay, so there's a form underneath here. Don't forget all the notes underneath uh, whenever you see a video. It's got 47, sec 47 minutes here. Watch that video and mm -hmm. explain what, exactly what it is. Here's the form and it will unlock and eventually it will appear on your portal. Hopefully you've got that link. If you haven't got that link, uh, just, just let me know inside of Messenger. I have that, yes. Perfect. So it should appear here. When you actually access it, you should jump into it, but it'll ask me for my username and password because I just removed my cookies, cache, and history. I'm going, to I'm going to stop sharing the screen because it, it, oh, it jumped in. It's in. Let me just come back. Now we load the page a lot faster when I'm off screen. Okay, there you go. So there's done for you plus. So it's all conformed to the left-hand side now, all these menus and everything. So what you're looking for is the fulfillment section. How do I fulfill? You either do it yourself, and I would, for the first couple, because the Blake's Partner Program build is a lot bigger than the, this two-page build. And then you can figure out how to actually build a team, Fiverr, Upwork, all these other places. He'll mention all of those things and how to build up that team. So you can yeah. give them a task. You can give them access to your members area, free access into your own lead machine. And then they can go through that process. They'll learn about it. And then they'll see how to actually do the masterclass best way going forward. If you want to kind of just leave it to them and just pay them a certain amount. And then other, other question arises from here. For the done for you, I charge 19.99, whatever. What does the, the provider charge back to me? The provider? Yeah. As in? Uh, let's say you're my provider. I charge line 19.97. How okay. much you will be charging me? Well, I want to just kind of like figure out if it's, if it's, if it's kind of like profitable to do all that stuff or just kind of say now. Well, if you find a fiver, someone on Fiverr who does funnel, builds funnels, it'll be really cheap. And then if you see that they do good work and they do it in a day or less than in a couple of hours or something like that, then that's amazing. I would, if you're charging $1,997 and you pay them, what, 100 or 200 I mean, makes. But for us, if we were to do it, our price we're charging at the Blake's Final Program is $1,497 right now. So for us to do that for you guys, that would not make much sense in terms of like, okay, you charge that plus, plus whatever you want to charge on top of it for... You know what I mean? So if you bring bring in your own team, there's plenty of funnel builders out there. There's if you go into ClickFunnels, the official group, there's what twenty quarter of a million people in there, of which I most likely know that they're not all all users. There's about a hundred and something of thousand ClickFunnel users as we, as it stands right now. So you can go to the funnel Rolo decks as well. You can go to Fiverr, you can go to Upwork, and people are already funnel builders and designers and all that kind of thing. Or you can get people for that specific role, however way you want to actually do this. But yeah, it would be better to find your own team, reduce your costs, have someone to lean on as and when you do sell your W for your two-page build or whatever they want on top as well. If you're going to increase your price with like chatbots or anything else. So before I in reality do release one done for you program, I need to figure out all the costs, how much time they take. You should do it yourself first. So you should really go through your own members area, go through your members area and go through and check out the videos work, the buttons work, the downloads work. You will build it. You will make an example of it. So you have a ballpark figure of like how, how easy is it to do? You know all your products from there on. And any question that any customer has, say, oh, I have a problem with this. No worries. Let's jump on a call or get your VA to jump on a call with them. Or they take over screen control. I don't know how it will be. Or they give sub-user access inside of their ClickFunnels account and they can shoot you over a video. You don't have to actually meet the meet the end user. So they can shoot a video to each other and you can kind of just leave it to them. Not do everything for them, but maybe just give them that support, uh, which is which is how I ended up doing things here in the Blake's Partner Program, even though none of them were my customers at the time. So... Um, providing value is king. Being uh, you got you've got to you've got to be great at customer service for this, um, mm -hmm. and and bite your tongue as much as you can. <laughs> yes, because the thing is, like the reason I'm being a little bit careful in the niche I have, uh, I deal with a lot of different people. They're very analytical. Yeah. Um, they want to make sure that things are done properly, and uh, also they want to make sure it's done timely manner. Mm. Right. Yeah, this is done in, the, I can do this in a day. When I first did it, I did it in two days. My customers who go to my, they're funnel builders, mostly. A uh, guy from Austria, not his first time going to English, he did it in four days. I give them seven days to do it. 
And if they don't do it, they're not going to be part of like the inner circle of what I'm doing, whatever. Yeah, I want those people who are going to do the work, not anybody lazy. It's a short program. Once you've gone through it, you'll see how easy it is. In comparison to the next final program, you'll be thinking, I can do this myself. Um, and you can do it in a day. So you keep 100%. So yeah, but with me, I can uh, I can do more than two thousand dollar days. So oh yeah, if I meet a certain client, sometime I could come out with ten grand days. So that'll be awesome, and I want you to make it rain. So get yeah. those people in place if you have those people that are ready who are in my eyes lazy, or they just have deep pockets. <laughs> okay, you are you I, are. I think there's a, there's a lot of people out there, and especially in my industry, they don't have time. I mean, like, yeah. we, don't, we don't have time. It's just so much going on, right, in the background. So you're, the background. So you're going to be the pioneer for your for your industry so that everybody else will lean towards you and say, hey, Paul's going to help you out with that. Go and do that. I have already six people ask me, hey, can you build this thing for us? Yeah. So now I'm like, I don't know. I'm wondering if, where's Renee? Can she build it? <laughs> hey, she already has, like, five businesses already. She's, talk, she's talking in three different time zones. But I can't remember. Five, five time zones, maybe. Um, she's probably busy but um yeah she she wants to be released from that world but it's amazing that she wants to actually help here in this group um being being a servitude leader is gonna is gonna get you yeah. a lot of places so That's, yeah if yeah. you if you want to build your own team definitely do that i would and then you know you'll find out your pricing should only really be you could, i mean if you're gonna tell them this is what you need to build I'll give you a hundred for each and every one. That's right. It's not gonna co- it's not gonna cost them a day. I mean, that's gonna be like a lot of money for someone who's in another country where. They, I mean, in yeah. India, they, they find it quite difficult to even save up for a for a whole program, um, and those that get, receive a hundred dollars in a day, oh my. That's Darren, that. Darren, can I make a comment? Go ahead. Um, Paul, did you look, did you look at your members area yet? Have you looked at the master class? My own master class? Yeah. I I think you're overthink I think you're overthinking this. This is I I made my own. It's a two step funnel. Yeah, that's what I did. I did everything my own. Nobody built No, no, me. no. Paul, you're not listening. Okay. It's a two step funnel. It's not it's not what we're doing. We've worked our butts off. We've sat and changed and made all these it's just this little itty bitty funnel that you're doing for the client okay so you don't have you're you're like thinking you got to do a blake's partner program for them no 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 you're doing a lead magnet program for them so that was the thing i spent how many times i think did i ask darren what uh what am i selling what am i selling (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so what you're selling is a two-step funnel that we've already done been there done that each oh, piece yeah. we've done it like seven times but we you know with all our layers but it's just a one layer you got your lead magnet and you got your offer now if they say they want other stuff that's when you upcharge them okay but for now you're just going to get them something that people can click on so that you can, so that they're that the email's captured. Basically, it's just changing their business page, okay. so that the email can become captured, and that they know who came to their business page. So that was like that was like my lifesaver, by going through the actual masterclass myself and creating awesome. a lead magnet and doing all that. You realize, oh, I'm not so. I did buy my own program. Want to make sure it's working properly. I'm going through it, but honestly, uh, like like what you just said, I think I'm overthinking because I haven't. I'm thinking like like exactly, man. Do I have to build the whole thing what I built myself? It's just that's it's a lot like of work. It's one day. It's one day. It's ninety okay. minutes. It's ninety minutes of videos. Once you learn it, you don't have to go through those videos again. Yeah. You kind of just you go back to the one you need. And just grab it and say, "Oh, I forgot how to do that," and then you do it. Okay. And see, uh, Darren, uh, Darren's going to show you something. Yeah. So this is what I did before I came into the Blake's Partner Program a week before the Blake's Partner Program was open last year, 2020, 16th of January. This is what I built. I did 20 lessons, and I just put it, I just put this together. Just 
follow through with everything there? Of course. Not 10 million. <laughs> I was just playing around. I just wanted to figure out what ClickFunnels is all about and everything. And all I did was just build this page. Now now I know better. Now I know I need to collect a name. I, I've got an email right here. And then when I when I go through to the next page, it'll just be a thank you page. But um, I think there's an exit pop or, or there's also, yeah, there's an exit pop and also a trigger. And that'll only happen once I've exited. And also if I click on that button, it'll also, also open the pop-up. So if I just pop in, I don't even know what's on the next page. Let's have a look. And so an email will pop off. It'll train you. There we go. There's that thing that I promised. Click on this. I don't know. It can go anyway. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be just this one thing. PLR it can be a course, a training, a program. You could be teaching somebody how to use Photoshop, Photopea. I don't know. Um, but you can teach it. You can teach them to do anything. Something that you've learned along the way. You know how to be great on camera. How to have that charisma. Or whatever it is. Whatever you are doing in your industry. Whatever's going to help. Whatever. You think that will be fitting for your particular audience that will help them out the best. I mean, Michelle, you have a couple of products and things like that, so that it could segue into your into your website or whatever you're doing with with. And I don't know what anybody else is doing. Like what you want to be doing afterwards. You can you always think of an example of where your customer is at. They can always tell you what they're doing already. So they say, "Oh, I've got this product. I would love to like send people over to Shopify." Great. How about I show you this, and then I'll give you I don't know a certain percentage off for your first pro program and stuff. So um, absolutely, it, you know, that's that. what you've just seen is what is being built from the masterclass. It's way more than that behind the scenes where you have a look at supercharging your landing page where you look at like heat maps and look at chat box and all these different types of things. So um, you'll see that in the bonus section towards the bottom. So definitely go through your members area. It'll make more sense, but it does look very simplistic. But off the back of that, I could have had book a call with me calendar link a lot of people want to be doing that um i do it in messenger right now but i might even change that page i mean i haven't even touched it for a long time i can't even believe it's still there um but that's what i did and um awesome you, you can position that to whatever niche you want but at the end in the done for you plus you'll choose one niche that's already done we've added a new one where is he where is he is he still here yeah thank know. you Thanks for your thanks for your help. You're very You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what? I like the community, her. eh? You can ask anybody for help. Oh yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it's good. So you get to you get to see with where the customer is at, where you're at, where everybody else is at. It's like remove all that cloud, remove all of that. So it just makes it so clear. Um and Dara saw it in a different light, a different way. So there you go. Um, I don't think he's. I don't think he's here anymore. He's gone. But um, he was asking about a specific niche to be added into the Done for You Plus. Um, it's there now. It's to do with I think it's a particular type of coaching. But go and check it out. Uh, either way, um, I think we're eleven minutes past. We have one more person, John. I don't want to leave you hanging. John as well. Take to the stage. That's okay. Darren, I just wanted to ask, Paul's mentioning pricing of what you're going to charge for the Done For You Plus. Is mm -hmm. there any way to put that into a two-pay program? Can you do that? And, and has it been done? Oh, you could totally do that if you wanted to. Um, you just need to take whatever's been taught in the masterclass already and just do a two-part payment there or three-part payment. Just add an extra one inside of Stripe. It's the connection to do with Stripe and how many payments you want to take and how much it is. It will need to be set up there. And it's just the same training, just a different okay. product. Good question. Okay, good. Thank yeah. you, Dan. No worries. Yeah, thank thanks. you, everyone. Um, so I think that's all the questions for today. Appreciate each and every one of you jumping on the call. If you have any questions in the meantime, you utilize the, the Facebook Messenger group and uh, use the group and everything else that I do you know, that I mention each and every week. But either way, great to see you all. 26 people to start with, 22 left in the room. And I'll see you on Thursday, 4 p.m. EST. Hey, one, one thing can I say here? I okay. know there's a, I, I, I didn't want to interrupt on that time. I know some people are saying that email is getting lost or going to spam folder and all that when they send through SendGrid account. When you use through SendGrid account, third party email, your own email, SendGrid use the IP address. It's a commonly used, it's send it to the spam folder. So for that reason, I have to go into Pay account through SendGrid. When you use a free account, that's what it does. Okay, so yeah, you were having that problem recently, so that I, you figured it out now. 
Yeah, my no, my my issue. That's a different actually. Now the help uh, people are looking at. I send them the video. I made them the video. Today they are they got the access. So they will be fixing it. No, I'm talking about when you send the email. I was sending the email before with the free SendGrid account. It was all going to spam folders. Then I got paid SendGrid account. Now it's all good. Yeah. See, I didn't see the email get delivered. No, you don't need a paid account, Michelle. I mean, I didn't need it. I don't need it. Um, but if you are going fast, Paul's going fast. He's got six customers waiting and stuff. Um, Melissa as well. She wants to make sure that that's done. Now, if you've got a lot of customers... You want to make sure that the email is going through, but also take into account, book, add that Calendly link inside of your members area so they can reach out to you if the email side of things is not ready yet or a click through to your Facebook Messenger account. Click on that button. They'll be able to get in touch with you. So um, you won't just have to depend on the email whilst that's being figured out right now. So uh, you don't need a paid account, but how much is it, Paul? It, it, is, uh, it is expensive. It's $97. You know, oh, yeah? It's not cheap per month. Oof. Yeah, it's not cheap. But uh, I have another question. I, I know we end of the time. Do you suggest we create our Facebook as well related to our niche? We like group, group page, group page. Um, if you have, I would, I would definitely say congruent. If you're, if you've got other groups and stuff, if you, if you're trying to move across, it would make no diff- It would make no sense for for me to go from muscle burning, which I, I did this. It's my mistake. I had like uh, 3,000 or something. I can't remember how much it was. 4,000 maybe in okay. this page or group back then. And I just changed the name and it would say it was from Muscle Bourbon to make money online. I mean, that's way different. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Way different. <laughs> and I could see people dropping off like flies. I mean, I didn't even post anything before that, but I gave them warning as well. So at least you had an audience. I wanted to test who was still going to be hanging around and stuff, but I don't use that as a, I don't utilize that, that particular audience. Well, you don't have to, okay. So no. you don't have to have like when somebody becomes client, they should be belong to a group like your niche group kind of thing. No. I just have a Facebook messenger group. Oh, okay. okay. Those people that do the homework, which is do the two page build. Okay. Prove it. Show me. Don't just be lazy about it. Show me that you've done it. And then I'll maybe add you to the round table. Take a seat. Let's have a look at your profile. Let's have a look at what you've done. All right. You understand it? Cool. Now let's put it to a side. They're like, what? <laughs> let's put it to a side and let's do what we've done here is that after page, after group coaching call 38 is where I build with them over the shoulder. That first thing is going to be the affiliate offer. Why do I do it? Because it's going to be the first thing that they, for my, for my audience anyway, it's the first thing that they can finally understand and see over the shoulder type of training. I'm giving them value. Because I choose to, they already signed up to me in ClickFunnels, they've already paid the price. Um, and then they go off and start communicating with people and they send them over to that webinar, the Blake's Partner Program. Guess why they can actually promote it? Because they've gone through every single part of the lead machine. Yeah. Any questions? They can answer it. And that's how they're able to. Now we're doing it a little bit backward over here. We're jumping into the Blake's Partner Program without even seeing it, and that's why Dara is saying, "Like, hey, what are we doing? What are we? What, what, where's the program? What, what, what is it? Like, wait, just, 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 just build it, and then you, you kind of go into it later." <laughs> I was like that. So awesome! Um, Thank you, Dara. No, no worries. Thanks, Thanks I everybody. appreciate each and every one of you. No more questions. All good. Hey, Dara, um, what did you? What did you mean? Oh, sorry. What did you mean by your Facebook Messenger versus what? Like you said, not but not a group. There's a difference between Facebook Messenger groups and the Facebook group. Oh I'm yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, I don't go for, I don't go live inside of a Facebook group or anything. I just have a Facebook Messenger group, like I have with you all, the Elite and Accelerator Facebook Messenger group. If I want to disseminate any information, I just give it there. I'll just quickly hit the button if I want to do a video, a video or voice. And then if I want to share a calendar with them, like I don't know, let's call it. The affiliate leads machine and fair advantage, which we've already shared in the cal- a calendar with you. Uh, you can always do that too. And so that they can join you each and every week, once a week, provide okay. value for them. They stay with you, teach them how to win. They'll stay with you on ClickFunnels rather than drop off and say, oh, this didn't really work. This two page build or whatever it is. No, it's more than that. So that's what I do. That's how I, that's how I nurture my, my students. Um, and that's why they're all in the program now and helping out with uh, answering the questions and things like that. So, 
saying if you're, you're not saying you're not posting in your Facebook like your Facebook page group. You're just using it only the messenger portion is what you're saying. I'm you're just, just using my personal posts. personal account, my personal Facebook, creating a group, adding people to it, naming that group. That is it. Is it is it okay to use your business page for your oh, group you if you use, want to? If it's you, I mean, does it, is there an advantage one way or the other? I mean. Um, I, I when you get a notification from a message from your page, it's really clunky in Messenger. But I mean, I find it's easier to just use your personal. Um, Adrian, like another, are you have you done it before, Adrian? Yeah. What do you prefer, personal or page? Personal, definitely personal, because I don't always get all the notifications if they send it to my page, and yeah, yeah. it's way easier just to do it. <laughs> yeah. Do it personally. Oh. Some people found my page and have added, messaged me there, and I said, "Oh, just here's my personal. Just add me there, and then we'll go from there." But it's just easier. You don't have to use a different mm-hmm. platform. You don't have to click on or change accounts or anything. It's just that one place. Keep everything centralized, and then you know they'll drop off when they drop off because it'll make more sense to them. It'll, they'll start to win for themselves. And if they start asking you questions, oh, just like this, if they start asking you questions. They'll uh, they'll start telling you what they want, what they need. Provide it. So when someone says, "Hey, can you can we can you just get someone to build it for me, or can you just like, uh, do you have a designer or something like that?" Yeah, I do. Part of my team, I have a designer. I mean, it's going to cost you this much. So they'll tell you what it is, and it's very resp- It's very responsive. We're already in our messenger anyway. Easy, boom. We're not changing accounts or anything, so it's personal. So up to you, however you want to operate. If you just want to operate with your page and then you use a messenger there, it's just a little bit more clunky. Um, I don't think you can actually send GIFs and be playful and voice on there. It's more Messenger. Um, but have a look at that. I haven't really checked it out. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Adrian, Adrian, and the business, use? the business one doesn't tend to notify you then, like your personal one. Is that what I'm hearing? Because I set up a business, but I haven't used it yet to know. It does ways. notify you, but it's just it. It does. It doesn't, it doesn't feel natural for me, as well. Um, I might see a notification. I'm thinking, huh, why is that person sending me a message there? So I click on it and then a whole new application opens or it says it's downloading because I haven't opened it for so long because iPhone decides to delete apps uh, if I don't use them. Um, but yeah, no, definitely try it out. Um, I just, I just try to, try to make it easier for everybody to, to just make, do you remember back at, I'm going to go past like, but I remember back in the day when I was helping out inside of the group and then each and every day I was opening up messages and it was like 80 to 100 messages each and every day and that's because everybody needed the help. It was not the place to provide uh, support. So as you grow, you may need somebody else, a VA or something else like that. I mean, we're, we're doing it right now. Marianne, she's liaising for you all. Um, so you'll see what will work best for you and we're just using personal messenger. Um that personal, but either way, that personal messenger you can also have two different lists. I found out on the left, on the lo- lower left or mid-, mid left part, you can create a separate list from your, let's say, your family list, and, uh, and it'll be just it's almost like having two personal pages, but it's actually one personal page, two different lists. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna, aside from that, with Messenger and everything like that, it's just easy, just adding people, you know. Um, you can do it a lot faster on your phone than on the on the desktop. It's very it's very different on the desktop. Um, it's harder to find people for some reason. It's just changing right now with Facebook. If I've added you as a friend recently, maybe I've just had an onboarding call with you. I try and find you because I've just added you as a friend, right? Or accepted you as a friend. I'm trying to find that person, I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. But if I go on my phone, I can add you really quickly. And it just it just populates really quickly. It's it's faster. So um, finding your finding you from a page and adding you that way. I'm not sure. I haven't used it that way in that in that sense. I just know it's very clunky and you can't utilize all the social features that you can to make it fun. Uh, and not just just come across really like square, you know, being a business, you don't you don't click funnels. They're trying to make it fun, make it easier to understand and things so. Either way, hopefully that's answered all of your questions. Yeah, um, more. Uh who's this? It's John. Oh hey, go ahead. Oh, you muted yourself. Still muted. Uh, Did I come back? Yeah, you're back. I just want to get back. Darren mentioned the masterclass going through it. How do we go through it? 
Ooh. Oh. Hey, what's happening? I'm joking. I'll show you. <laughs> Darryl will have the answer already. So you have like four different ways of going into your own account. So let's go to clickfunnels.com. I think I'm already logged out. Let's see. Let's see if I need to actually log in. Yeah, and Aaron, I had one other question. Do you know if they're going to release the um, replay of the copywriting call from last Friday? Is that going to be somewhere on our site? Um, I'll ask them about that. I I know it was recorded. I don't know where it's been recorded, whether it's on with Blake's or somebody else's. So, um, okay. So you want to... What was the question again? Oh, how to get into your members area. Okay, so you can either turn your phone oh, so and test. Darren, I was going to say, John should, John should become his own client first. Yeah, you can do that. So there's two, There's a couple of ways. The fastest way to go forward is to go to the membership area. You don't even have to create an account or anything like that. So the fastest way to go forward is this. You don't even need to log in. You just go into open an editor. I'm just going to open up another tab. Okay, and you go there inside of the editor on the top right hand side it says preview. This will give you super admin rights and give you access to all of your products. Okay. So you'll see inside of this here, my invisible hat video, my introduction video as it populates. There we go. You can see right through my hat and you've got all of your lessons inside of here. And I've just added an extra one there. I don't know why. I think I just had a really good, good conversation with a customer. So I just went through a lot of things with him here and it's valuable. So everyone said that it's, it's great that I've added that. So either way, uh, it helps out with a lot of people. So there you go. You can go through your own members area without even having to log in. The other way is if you go to help the There we go. Help the And just type in stripe order and it will populate the bottom, strike order form testing, click on that. Without bringing out, without using your credit card, you can use this. So follow through with the video that's underneath here. It will show you how to turn on your funnel in test mode. And all you do is just turn it on in test mode. You go through the first page, follow these instructions, and you'll go and buy each and every product without a credit card. Uh, it will associate a name, an email, a phone number with a product purchase, a fake product purchase. And that's how you do that. The other way is actually bring out your credit card. You turn off your, by the way, turn off your funnel in test mode as well once you finish that. Otherwise, the world can purchase your products for free. Um, or you use your own credit card and create your own account and go through that way. So you get to see the customer journey, how it should be. You can even start from your personal profile, click on that link. It goes through your two-step order form and go through that way. So you see the customer journey on desktop and mobile. See if everything's all good. Colin, I know it's really early for you. It's probably like uh, six o'clock in the morning, six six thirty in the morning for you now, right? Singapore time. Appreciate you for jumping on the call. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, so yeah, that's that's the answer. So you've got like I've just shown you three ways to go about things. So two of them are free. One of them test out your credit card, check it out, see if the two part payment works. If it doesn't, most likely. In most cases, the two-part payment in test mode does not work just because of the ID that he mentions. It needs to be the same. Now, if you use it and if you use your funnel in real mode, like you do it without the test mode on and use your credit card, then the two-part payment does work. So I'm not worried about test not working. That's how I tested mine out, but it works. Um, but that's it. That's, that's everything. So hopefully you'll be able to go through your own members area, get to enjoy the program, build out your own funnel, utilize it, and you should be good. So, yeah, hope that takes care of your questions. Just you okay? one quick question. Go ahead. Uh, just after I spoke to you, you tell me to cancel my click funnel. Mm. Uh, I, I already stopped the subscription, but the account is still there. Do I need to delete it and redo everything when I go through the program, or I can do it there? You're, um, you're, you're cancelling your click funnel account? Yeah, you remember I, I, I actually set up the click account. And yeah. Every month. Yeah. Yeah. Then, uh, I haven't started the program yet. So you asked me to cancel it. Yeah, so we were talking about like when you wanted to start it. Like, you know, if you if you if you're using if you're not really using an account and it's got a load of funnels in there that's not being used, I would just start fresh. 
Um, so, the first part of the first means I cancelled the subscription. So I cancelled the subscription. We've got some feedback here, I'm just telling you, just muting money. How you go? Carry on, yeah. Uh, I cancelled the subscription. I'm just saying that, uh, do I delete the account? Because no, no, like when, when the because you've cancelled it now, the next payment will just like pause the account. So, all you need is a new email address and then create a new account and go forward from there. You'll have a 14 day trial, you'll yeah. be good. So, I cancel that account and start fresh, right? That's what you can do. Yeah, yeah, you just want to reduce all the noise everywhere that's causing a lot of noise, even like all these notifications. Just do that. Uh, it's the best way going forwards. But, um, either way, great to see each and every one of you. Appreciate you from jumping on the call, and I'll see you on Thursday, 4 p.m. EST. Bye bye.
hot, Mom? Hmm? Are you hot in here? Are you hot? You can go ahead and turn the air condition. Uh, no, I'll leave it off. It is by far, hands down, 